Now we're going to take a look at some tension in the 3D world using vectors now and how to solve these kinds of tension problems. So we have a problem right here. A weight of 510 pounds is supported by three ropes. The weight is located on the, the point 0, 0,3, negative 1 and is supported by ropes that are tied at 3,0,0,0,5,0 0, 0, 0, 0, and negative 1,0,0. 0, 0. And I've kind of uh, drawn out that already. Uh, with our points labeled on our 3D coordinate plane and our job is to find the tension in each rope. So let's make a little vector diagram right now kind of outlining that. So basically we're gonna have the weight which has if we imagine this is our weight let's call this our let me use a different color here. There we go. We can call this kind of our weight vector uh, that, and that's gonna be it says 510 pounds and is basically supported by three ropes. We can uh, call this uh, vector SP, vector SR, and then vector SQ here. And uh, this could be point weight uh, vector or S vector. And basically, we're in a state that uh, we call equilibrium, where the weight is going to be 510 pounds of downward force. Five, 510 pounds of downward force. Well, all of these three vectors basically add up to an upward force of 510 pounds as well. So basically we have a net uh, force of zero, which is why these three ropes are able to support this heavy weight. Uh, because if, let's say, uh, the weight was 511 pounds and the ropes only supported 510 pounds uh, basically they, it would not be at a state of equilibrium and the weight would be pulling harder than the ropes can handle which will basically cause a continuous force downward so basically what we're going to do is first we're going to take these three points and make the vectors that we've outlined here SP, SR, and SQ and basically how we're going to do that is just we're going to put it into component form so SP, we're just going to take point S, point P, and make a vector out of that. So basically just vector SP is going to be 3 minus 0, 0 minus 3, 0 minus negative 1. And that's just going to be equal 3, negative 3, and then 1. We're going to make vector SQ, and that's going to be 0 minus 0. 5 minus 3, 0 minus negative 1, that's going to be 0, 0, 2, 1. And then finally, vector SR, negative 1 minus 0, 0 minus 3, 0 minus negative 1, and that's going to be negative 1, negative 3, 1. And we also want to find the magnitude for each of these because basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a unit vector out of all of these. So first let's find the magnitude. So uh, before I'm not going to write it out. It's just We'll just do it uh, in our heads. 3 squared is 9. 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. Plus 1 squared is 1. So 18 plus 1 is going to be 19. So we'll say square root of 19. 0 squared is nothing, 2 squared is 4, plus 1 is 5. And then we have here 1 plus 9 plus 1, or 9 plus 2, which is 11. So you have root 11 here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make basically our uh, vectors. So through this diagram, what we did here was we used the diagram to get the direction. But now we need to find the magnitude of this vector here. We can't use the magnitude of this diagram because that doesn't outline the weight. We have to make sure that we make vectors that add up to a combined, basically if we add all of these three vectors up, it should equal 510 pounds. That's our goal. So now that we have a direction, which is over here, we're going to make a unit vector in that direction. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by the tension in each of these ropes in order to get the actual vector. And through that, we'll make a system of three equations which we will solve to get the actual tension in each row. So the tension in 
vector p is going to be the it's going to be the tension in p which will kind of say the magnitude of p which is kind of what it is it's the magnitude of this vector in the vector diagram here times the unit vector over here which is going to be 3 over root 19 negative 3 over root 19 1 over root 19 and I'm not going to uh, rationalize the denominator and all that because I'm just going to basically plug this into our calculator and solve it through that. And uh, for the calculator, we don't need to rationalize that. We'll just be putting extra work on ourselves. So we'll basically just be distributing this out when we plug it in and make our system of three equations. But for now, I'll just go to write it out with the magnitude on the outside. So now for the force in Q, that's going to be the magnitude of Q times 0 over root 5 is just 0, 2 over root 5, 1 over root 5. And then finally, force in R is going to be the tension. Put equals here. The tension of R, negative 1 over root 11, negative 3 over root 11, 1 over root 11, and this is our basically our expressions uh, for the tension in each of the ropes. And now what we're going to do is we know that basically this the the component form of this vector s right here is going to be zero zero negative five hundred and ten right because it's basically exerting a downward force of five hundred and ten pounds. So if we put it in component form, it's not going anywhere to the sides at all, it's just going straight down with a force of 510. So that's going to be our vector here. So if we put this kind of down here, 0, 0, 510, we have a system of three equations. We have this equal to this, we have this equal to this, and then we have this equal to this. So let's write that out. So now we will actually be doing the distributing that I outlined here with the magnitude of P. So that's going to be, and the P, Q, and R are going to be our variables in our system. So that's going to be 3 root 19 P plus 0 plus negative 1 over root 11 R is equal to 0. And then 3 over root 19, negative 3 over root 19 P plus 2 over root 5q minus 3 over root 11r equals 0, 1 over root 19p plus 1 over root 5q plus 1 over root 11r, and this time instead of five, uh, 0, we're going to have 510, it's equal to 510. And now what we can do is we can just plug this into a calculator that does matrices, and what we will do is we will select the reduced row echelon form, which is kind of abbreviated like RREF, reduced row echelon form. We'll make a 3 by 4 matrix, and we'll plug in these values. And then if it's a matrix, let's say matrix A, we'll select the reduced row echelon form matrix A, and whatever the calculator gives out on the right side are the values of the variable P, Q, and R. So if you plug this in, make sure you plug it in properly with the 2 over root 5. Um, make sure if your calculator doesn't do, uh, uh, it doesn't have order of operations or anything like that, make sure you uh, uh, look at that. And the correct values, basically, if you want to do it now, pause it. But the values for P is 222.3 pounds. Q is... 684.23 pounds, and then R is going to be 507.44 pounds. That's how you do tension in the 3D world with vectors.